Honey has been recognized for its therapeutic and healing properties since ancient times. Honey aids in the elimination of bacteria. It helps soothe a sore throat. It relieves cold and flu symptoms. It relieves constipation. It relieves stomach pain from ulcers and speeds up the healing of wounds. Honey is a natural sweetener and contains no artificial flavorings, color, or preservatives. Honey can be used as a sweetener in breakfast oatmeal, a cup of tea, or a variety of different homemade recipes. I personally like to use honey in oatmeal and in a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Honey has more sugar than refined white sugar. The difference between the two is that honey has more healing properties and nutrients. Honey is made up of approximately 40% fructose, 30% glucose, water, minerals of iron, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Honey is a natural libido, increasing testosterone levels in men while balancing estrogen levels in women. This occurs when bees gather nectar from aphrodisiac flowers like orchids or jasmine to produce honey. And no wonder why my energy levels are so high during exercise training. Most bacteria and other microbes cannot grow or reproduce in honey. Honey has a low moisture content that keeps bacteria from surviving and neutralizes most bacteria and organisms that spoil other foods. Bees also add their own enzymes to honey to produce hydrogen peroxide. This is one of the reasons honey helps wounds heal, strengthens the immune system, and fights off several types of cancers because of its antibacterial and antifungal health properties. Honey is made from nectar collected by honeybees during foraging from different types of flowers. And no, honey isn't bee poop. There are over 300 types of honey from different flowers. Some examples are alfalfa, white clover, lavender, mint, and sunflowers. Each honey will have a different color, flavor, and aroma depending on the type of flower the bee's honey is made from. When purchasing honey, you can get a honeycomb. A honeycomb has honey stored inside. This honey is the purest and most natural honey because it hasn't been processed or removed from its natural packaging, containing all the pollen, nectar, and nutrients found in it. Honey from a honeycomb will be richer in flavor, texture, and sweeter in taste. Raw unfiltered labeled honey is unheated and extracted after removing the beeswax, debris, and dead bees. It has no additives. The only processing is removing the honey from the honeycomb. This is usually done by beekeepers using a centrifuge barrel. The honeycomb frames are uncapped, placed in a centrifuge and spun in a circular motion. Gravity pulls the honey out of the honeycomb and onto the barrel's walls, where it leaks to the bottom of the barrel and is later collected. This maintains the honey's rawness without the use of heat. Organic labeled honey is honey that is produced under strict rules, regulations, guidelines, and conditions in order for it to be organic. This honey comes from flowers that were not contaminated or sprayed with pesticides. Bees travel two to three miles to forge nectar from different flowers, so certified organic covers these flowers. The honeybee source of nectar, foraging area, bees management, Honey extracting process, transportation, processing temperature, and packaging materials are all taken into consideration. Organic honey doesn't necessarily mean raw, because organic honey can be heated or pasteurized above the temperatures between 94 to 96 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the approximate temperature bees maintain using their wings to generate enough heat for the beehive and honey. Temperatures above 94 to 96 degrees Fahrenheit can destroy the natural bee enzymes and the nutrients in honey. But organic honey can be raw too, depending on a company's processing choice to extract the honey without the use of heat. This is why when you go to the store to buy honey, you will see organic labeled honey, but not raw. Or you will see organic, raw, and unfiltered labeled honey. Pure labeled honey can contain honey in an unknown amount. There may be additional additives in this honey like corn syrup. Honey that is labeled natural may be pasteurized or treated with heat. A great way to tell if honey is raw is that it will crystallize. Unless you live in a hot environment and temperatures increase, raising the room temperature, where the honey decrystallizes. 
If the honey stays smooth, it has been pasteurized to remain smooth and presentable on store shelves. The pasteurization and use of heat on honey destroys most of its natural nutrients and enzymes. Check your local farmer's market or local farms to see if they have freshly made honey. Local honey from local bees will be better than any honey imported from other countries or areas that are sold in stores. Since honey doesn't have an expiration date, some farmers sell their honey online for purchase too. So if you don't live near a local farm or don't have a farmer's market close by, search the internet for honey farmers in cities nearby and see if they have raw honey available for purchase. One of the best honeys that I have eaten was from a local farm in Kauai. This honey tasted amazing. Honey can be graded from A, B, C, and D. Anything below a grade C is classified as substandard, while grade A is of superior quality. A great quality honey or high grade, unless on sale, can be in the price range of $6 to $20. Higher grade honeys like Manuka from New Zealand or Aotearoa will be in the price range of $50 to $100. Although I found a Manuka honey for about $15 while shopping, you might want to check if the company is authentic because this honey is usually expensive. Manuka honey is expensive because it comes from bees that gather nectar to produce honey from the Manuka plant. The Manuka plant is unique and is only found in New Zealand and Southeast Australia. Manuka honey is also rated separately from the rest of the honey because of its antibiotic compounds of hydrogen peroxide and methyl glyoxal from the bee enzymes. Manuka honey is rated by UMF, that means unique Manuka factor. UMF measures three chemicals of dihydroxyacetone, leptospirin, and methyl glyoxal while MGO, which stands for methyl glyoxal, only measures this element and potency in the Manuka honey. Most other raw honeys produce hydrogen peroxide. Manuka honey produces small amounts of hydrogen peroxide and larger amounts of methyl glyoxal. Manuka honey is 10 times stronger than regular honey when it comes to its antibiotic properties. Manuka honey is powerful enough to replace regular antibiotics. There's even medical grade Manuka honey doctors use. The higher the UMF and MGO number, the stronger the antibiotic compounds will be. Numbers 10 plus and higher is a great quality Manuka honey. Always look for the UMF association label on the bottle of Manuka honey. This will show it's real Manuka honey. A MGO number of 250 is equivalent to a UMF number of 10. So a MGO number of 250 or higher and a UMF number of 10 or higher is a high quality Manuka honey. Any numbers below an MGO of 250 and a UMF of 10 will still be a premium Manuka honey, but it won't be as potent in its antibiotic properties. If you see an MPA rating on a bottle of Manuka honey, this stands for non-peroxide activity. MPA is connected to MGO and an MPA rating of 10 is similar to an MGO rating of 250 to 260. Significant antiseptic qualities appear when the activity is at 10. This explains why this Manuka honey is only about $15 and not $100. Because it has an MGO number of 83 and an MPA number of 5, peroxide activity is high in other honeys and helps heal minor infections, but a low peroxide and a high methyl glyoxal activity will be more potent in healing infections without easily being damaged by light, heat, and fluids. The rating of Manuka honey will vary and depends on the plant's environment, climate, and the conditions it's grown in, the bee's age and colony health, the conditions the product is processed and stored in, and whether the bees forage nectar only from the Manuka plant, or if the honey is mixed with nectar from other species. Things to consider when eating honey is to make sure not to give honey to young infants, because honey may contain small amounts of microorganisms responsible for botulism, a rare poisoning caused by toxins, so don't feed honey to children younger than 12 months. Honey is safe to eat for people one year of age and older. 
even though honey has antibacterial and antifungal properties, still drink water and brush your teeth after eating it because it still contains sugar. I've been eating honey as an alternative sweetener in my oatmeal for a month. And recently I added brown sugar into my oatmeal and I noticed the sensitivity on my teeth compared to honey. So honey may not have an effect on your teeth like regular sugar. It will still be wise to brush your teeth though. When using honey as an alternative to refined white sugar, use slightly less honey because it is sweeter than sugar. A great ratio to go by is to use two thirds or a half of honey compared to what you usually use for sugar. For example, if you're making a recipe that requires one cup of sugar, you'll use two thirds or half a cup of honey as a substitute. For a home remedy recipe to soothe a sore throat, you can add two teaspoons of honey to one cup of warm to hot lemon water or oolong tea. Just make sure the water isn't too hot. Water with temperatures above 96 degrees Fahrenheit will destroy the natural B enzymes. Let the water or tea cool down before adding the honey or eat the honey first before drinking the lemon water or tea. This will ensure you are getting the beneficial B enzymes and nutrients from the honey. One tablespoon or 21 grams of honey contains approximately 17 grams of sugar and being about 64 calories. The daily recommended amount of added sugar for women is 100 calories and 150 calories for men. That's approximately two tablespoons of sugar for women and three tablespoons for men. When storing honey, it can be left out in the kitchen at room temperature or stored in the refrigerator. If you store honey in the refrigerator, it will most likely crystallize and harden. To decrystallize the honey, you can leave it out at room temperature until it becomes smooth and soft. Or you can put the container of honey in warm water until it's smooth and ready to eat.